a gruesome discovery. More than 2,000 medically preserved fetal remains discovered inside a house in Illinois of a deceased abortion doctor who performed abortions at clinics in Indiana where he lost his license in 2016. Those remains have been transported back to Indiana where the state's attorney general is now leading the investigation into the findings. Joining us now with the latest is Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill. Good morning to you, Curtis. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for Good having morning. me. For the folks at home that aren't familiar with this doctor's story, tell us what happened and how you found these remains. Well, Dr. Cloffer was, as you noted, a, a notorious abortionist in the state of Indiana for decades. And he passed away recently uh, last month. And after he passed away, his family members were cleaning up through the garage and found this discovery, 2,246 fetal remains uh, that had been stored away, discarded, if you will, in the family residence. Uh, to their credit, they contacted authorities in the state of Illinois right away, and the information was reported. Uh, we heard about it here in Indiana and had our suspicions. Uh, the Indiana General Assembly, several representatives of our General Assembly contacted me, and we initiated an investigation because of our suspicion that these fetal remains uh, came from the state of Indiana. It's hard to see the images because you see these boxes being pulled out of, it looks like an office, and you know what's inside. Um, I understand corresponding medical records were, were uh, with each of these babies. Were you able to contact the mothers, or do you try not to? What's the law? Do you have to contact the mom? Well, this is uncharted territory. I mean, if you think about it, this was a, these are events, these abortions took place in the year 2000, 2001, 2002. And there are uh, many different sensibilities of the women who uh, participated in those abortions. Uh, we've had a hotline set up for those who want to contact us to inquire uh, about the remains and what goes next. But quite frankly, there's going to be uh, many who don't want to relive the pain and agony of these events. And so we're not taking a position where we're contacting anyone we're putting a hotline out so that people can contact us and our basic course of action is to develop a framework where we can bring the the, uh, the unborn children home we've done that they're in the state of Indiana now and we're looking through a process that we can uh, provide final arrangements with a level of dignity and respect that the human remains deserve okay Thank you so much, Curtis Hill. If you want to learn more about it, there is a Fox News op-ed that has written, written by Curtis talking about the reactions from both sides and uh, more about this story. Thank you, sir. Thank you.